The simple flick of a light switch seems inconsequential, but in the grand scheme of things, it means a lot, especially to those of us connected to Bethlehem Farm. Since the farm's conception in 2005, putting as many environmentally friendly practices as possible into place has been a constant goal. This year, we took on our biggest project in sustainability yet, solar power. Nearly 55% of electricity in the United States comes from Appalachian coal. And in West Virginia, coal accounts for 99% of electric power. Although coal mining has propelled the West Virginia economy and the industrial progress of our country, it has come at a great price. For decades, coal companies have ravaged our mountains, leaving the land barren, flora and fauna without sound habitats, and thousands of people in harm's way. Most recently, a technique known as mountaintop removal has come to the forefront of mining practices and has left our landscape scarred for the rest of our lifetime. What we have to share today, however, is not a story of devastation and loss, but a story of hope and alternative energy. It is the story of how our dream of solar power on this farm has become reality, thanks to the support of our extended farm family. The story began when our director and gardener, Eric Fitz, It's a beautiful day, finally getting solar panels. It's the culmination of a dream that's been at least five years in the making. Met this man. Um, Verbus Green. Um, I got my start in alternative energy as a self-sufficient homesteader. At a Pennsylvania Association of Sustainable Agriculture conference, Virtus has been monitoring our wind speed here at the farm and had determined after a year that we did not have enough wind to use it for electric power. At that same time, back in May, he did, however, have access to photovoltaic solar panels from BP Solar at a discounted price. In preparation for the panels, we put up a new metal roof on the house with the help of our neighbor and general contractor, this man, Richard Heights. With the help of Holly, our autumn servant, Colleen's friend Josh, and all the caretakers, we finished the roof in just two and a half days. Then came the fundraising. We had saved enough money to purchase the panels, but maintaining our savings and budget allocations meant we needed to fundraise the remaining $11,000 necessary for the installation of the solar unit. Right Countless emails, appeals, and stickers, do you have yours yet? Produced $4,000 in generous support. So, $7,000 more dollars to go. Enter the fantastic farm lover, who gave us a no-interest loan so that we can start bathing in the power of the sun. We still need to pay them back though, you know. November 3rd, 2009 marked the day of great excitement when Virtus pulled up with the panels in his truck and three guys with names like Rabbit, Solar Bear, and Chris from a company called Power Up to install the panels. Basically, it's a piece of silicon wafer. Silicon is a semiconductor, basically, of electricity. Sunlight strikes the face of that cell, and it causes the, the photons in there to move and create electrons that move from the front of the cell to the rear of the cell. So the front of the cell becomes the positive side of the cell. The rear becomes the negative. So if you put a tab on the front side and tab on the back side, you take those cells and you put them in series one after another, put those tabs together, positive to negative, positive to negative, you uh, can create whatever voltage you want. There's plenty of room for expansion, but now the panels cover 25 to 30 percent of our electricity usage. In the beginning, this was all about coal, so how much are we going to save? The answer is three to four tons. A simple donation of $25 itself will save 800 pounds. So people that have already gone out there and spent money on solar are going to be looked upon in the future as quite visionary. We love our mountains, but they won't last for long if we keep raping them for coal. Solar saves coal. And 
now our farm is solar powered. Shout it from the rooftops, and of course, come and visit to see it. We'll leave the light on for you. Well, 